So a buddy of mine that I've been buying lots off of from storage unit, I've mentioned him several times, and about a lot of them today, finally got in touch. Basically his cousin was supposed to be messaging me and he wasn't, so we finally got that worked out. I bought a lot today for 500. Um, vintage Playboy, they're basically tall sense. I know some of the vintage ones can have some money, so figured why not. A bag full of wrestlers. Most of them are basics, but I can lock them together and get some decent value out of that. We have a Game Gear here, tested working with some games. Let's see if I can open it easily, I'll open it, but nothing notable game-wise here. Racing, Jurassic Park, some sports titles. You do have Sonic Chaos, and in the other one, they do have their manual, so that's not so bad there. Let's see if I can get this closed. Yep, did a one-handed Mega Pro. Next, we have an off-brand NES Classic. I'll get like 2025 all that. Sorry, flashback. I think it's worth pretty similar. Some PC game Tallsons. A lot of stuff I'm going over now are connected to Tallsons. Then we have a bag full of Power Rangers. Don't know much about them, but I let them together. Hey, maybe worth something. Then here's an interesting thing. I don't know much at all about Marvel cards, but it's a binder full of Marvel and X-Men cards. So I'm going to do some solid research tonight to see if anything's worth value, what things may be worth. I know some Marvel cards are hot, so who knows? Maybe this could be actually a big part of the lot. We have Millennium Falcon right there. Oh, Star Wars figure that just dropped around the table. We have a white Game Boy Advance SP. Two pink DSs. A 3DS XL. All that's in pretty good shape. We have a Gala Darkness GameCube with cords and a controller. Let's see. Red Browser and Crazy Taxi. This doesn't work, you told me ahead of time. Kirby Air Ride. This does work. NFL Street. A charger. Off brand GameCube controller. A 3DS car charger. Oh, NFL Street doesn't work either, apparently. Um, let's see. This is either case and manual or it doesn't work. Yeah, case and manual. I'll probably sell that. Should hold some good value, though. Uh, there is an original Game Boy in this bag. Shout out to Devin. Some Star Trek figure Tolsons. Some Star Wars figure Tolsons. Uh, Pod Racer, WCW and W Revenge, Mario Kart Wii, N64 controller, Puzzle League, Bassmaster, Quarterback Club, and we have an expansion pack down here, which is solid. Uh, I already showed you the Millennium Falcon. Give me one second. I'm going to move everything and I'll get into that box. Give you a little nice pin over of this box. A lot of filler. Wii Sports is nice. GameCube games is nice. Uh, Sly Cooper is nice. The Sly Collection is nice. Some more filler on this side. Got these two. Uh, Mario and Sonic. One in 2012 is like 15. Have uh, three separate Switch cases. The Active 2. This stack of handheld stuff. The best being uh, Mario Superstars and Naruto. Oh, he also got Super Monkey Ball down there. Disc only of Mario Kart. There's also another Mario Kart Wii. Um, Rayman is a decent disc only. And then we have Street 2 Unleashed, which is pretty solid. So a lot of stuff, a lot of lower end, but a lot of stuff that I can quickly make my money back off of and then profit on the lower end. Plus with this convention going on, I'm going to blow out a lot of this stuff for cheap, but still make profit, so not too bad. Good little haul. Stay tuned for more, guys. Also, guys, had a GameStop order get here today. After coupon, I paid $46.83, two coupons, one for $15 off, one for my monthly file or else. Got GTA 5 on PS5, only $20, bucks plus the coupon made it cheaper. Akiba Strip, I think this was $20 on the GameStop's website. For the collector's edition, so not bad at all. It's official seal. And Pokemon Ranger. I was hoping this was complete. It's not, so I'll sell this for probably about 25 and keep these for like 23 bucks. So 
Not too bad at all, guys. Hey, 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 h